Okay, here we are to talk about a Star Trek The Next Generation VHS. I'm going to continue these to the very end. And boy, do we have a long way before we reach the last VHS tape. There's like 87 of them, and maybe I did a little over 10. But whatever the number is, I don't even remember how many I did so far. Okay, it's Home Soil, and then the When the Bow Breaks. Now, um, let's see. Alright, Home Soil. As the Federation requests the crew visit Villara 3 where a group of Transformers are trying to make the seemingly desolate planet capable of supporting life. Tragically, a Transformer engineer is killed during the visit in a bizarre Draylock room incident. Data investigates and is explicitly attacked by the laser drilling system, which had a mind of its own, I guess. He escapes injury, but he discovers a small life form that's trying to communicate with him. Back on the Enterprise, they learn that they, they learn that the life form killed the engineer and is declaring war on humans. Ooh, that's not good. Um, suddenly the crew is embroiled in a deadly power struggle that threatens to destroy the Enterprise and everyone on the ship. They always make it out though. That's why I don't like some... Sometimes I don't like Star Trek so the good guys always win. Well, I'd love to see a Star Trek series where the bad guys win every time. That would just be pretty cool. When the bow breaks, the Enterprise accidentally discovers... Aldia, a planet with advanced technology that satisfies every need, it soon discovered that the Enterprise finds no was no incident a accident. The Aldians have lost the ability to reproduce and kidnap the several children, including Wesley from the Enterprise, which which is kind of stupid. I just imagine they would want to have they would want to make have kids in the future for this planet to keep it going. Who would want to do that? When Hoss's negotiations fail, Picard struggles to find a method of penetrating the planet's shields, while Dr. Crusher tries to solve the... You know what I never understand? I never really understood. Alright, they didn't have transporters to get them through the ship, but obviously they had their own people down there. Why don't they just try to fight their way through them to get them back? You know, it's not Voyager with a low complement of people on board. They have people on the Enterprise. They could send a few security teams down, take them by force. All this BS about the Federation, nobody cares about that. People don't watch Star Trek so we can see deals be made. We watch them for battles and stuff like that. That's at least why I watch it. I hope everyone else does. This was a 1988, I think it says back here. I don't know if this is the exact year. No, it was made and looks like package was 91. This is still over 30 years old. Old tape, the plastic's falling out just like the Voyager ones, but more of these are intact than my Voyagers. Bye-bye.